Jared Houston for Extra, and I'm on the field with the Calgary Stampeders, who will be competing for the 100th Grey Cup against the Toronto Argonauts. How welcoming would the Calgary Stampeders be if a player came out? You know, it's uh, it's an interesting situation. You know, if, if it was all Canadians, I think uh, CIS team, I think those would be, you know, very, very accepting, because I think Canadians as, as a whole are very accepting. But uh, when, when you have players that are raised uh, in the deep south of the United States, you know, the, they aren't necessarily raised with the same kind of uh, accepting of, of all kind of different people. It's a lot different for me because, you know, even when I talk about my, like my mother's uh, uh, married to a woman. Yeah. Your mother's a lesbian? Yeah. Did not know that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, she's, she's, so, uh, you know, and I've, like, my, my sister was with a woman for a time, and now she's with a man, but, I mean, it's just, that's just, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it, and for me, even when I bring up those kinds of subjects, it's just, you know, it's, it's sensitive. How well can you Sam Peters be a gay player? Can he throw? <laughs> can he catch? Is he fast? It's a free country. We just saw the Argos, just came out and said they'd welcome a gay teammate, the Marlies. Um, do you still see a lot of homophobia in the locker room? Is it still very prevalent uh, with, with the Stampeders? You know, I, I wouldn't say it's... Hold up. Uh, we we got to talk about something first uh, before... Just... Okay. Um, the Argos didn't say that, did they? Did this Argos Toronto Argonauts? Yeah. Because that's a lie. That is a lie. Anyways, um, okay. Why so is that a lie? Because it just, it's just, the, the, the makeup of these locker rooms is just, I mean, you, you have lots of Canadian guys that would be completely accepting of it, but it's not, a lot of people are very uncomfortable with it in the locker rooms. It's, it's all fine for a player to say, we would welcome a gay player, but the reality is, pro sports is still a very homophobic place. Absolutely, and you know, since, since we, we've, Done that. I don't want to, you know, say the Stampeders are any more homophobic than any other CFL team. And in fact, the homophobic might even be a stretch. But it's it's just, you know, when you're educated a certain way. Do you think there's still homophobia in sport? I'm not. I never even thought about it, truthfully. I think I really don't think sexuality has any bearing on the football field. And I, I don't think, you know, being gay would affect you how you tackled. I mean, if you, if you play football, that's what you do. So it's, I think some people would have to come to terms with that, but eventually they will. Do you think gay positive players like yourself, um, is it their responsibility to, um, to say something and to speak up and to, uh, to, to maybe tell other players that homophobic language, sexist language, isn't isn't cool. Yeah, I well, I mean, my teammates know. Uh, you know, I I don't really say too much to when people are talking about stuff, but there's certain words that I really don't like being used, and you know, you know, the, you don't need to use slurs like that, and you know, so I, I I do speak up. I think it's I think it's it is a responsibility of you know any human being to you know stand up for the rights of others. Talking about a gay player and how welcoming a team would be to a gay player, is that like the first step? And then we can talk about maybe a transgender player, or is it all one? Is it all is it all one conversation? I would like it to be one conversation, but I think uh, it takes another step. Uh, if it were uh, uh, a former woman that became a man, uh, that would be you know treated one way. But if it was a man that became a woman, I mean, I can't really speak to that because. You know, I'm not any. I've never been on a team with a woman before, so it's uh, it's 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 an interesting situation. I would imagine it would take a little bit longer for people to be, you know, fully comfortable with that. So, what advice would you give to uh, an LGBT youth who maybe looks to sports and wants to get involved, but they don't see any role models? What would you say to them? I would say just you know, become your own role model. Uh, I think we are definitely in need of some, you know, big star, you know, gay players. I mean, absolutely. Uh, if we had if we had one, we'd probably have many. So it's, uh, it's, it's really just a matter of time. And in, in the meantime, I would say focus on be, becoming the star yourself. Kicking that closet door wide open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was great meeting you and thank you so much. Thank you very much. Good luck.